The Okaishi market has been in existence for several decades now. Over here, a wide array of business activities go on here, ranging from wholesale to retail, tabletop vendors, amongst others. It is a very busy area in the central business district of Accra. But one of the challenges facing businesses here is a high cost of rent, which has made some already in the shop contemplating to exit, while others are finding difficulty to access the shops. The backdrop of this that I set out to speak to some of these businesses to find out how this is affecting their operations. Oh, so so tell me, I'm ready. You just see us. So I'm a brilliant guy. I just I'm a toilet. No, so I be when you say, aye aye, come. No, I'm just one city. Oko June so fifty pesos. Did to me no. Me the aye mami. So I'm a madam. No, I'm a minyes kadi. I store ni the mejibi. I have shop. Ebi ni yo. I see. I'm just. I'm just shop. Po. Na se u. I see. I see. I see. I walk one. I'm just gonna say. I be a shop maye. I show you. I turn a shop. I banana. Because Those were some retailers who occupy the walkways of the Okaishi market. The situation makes it very difficult for shoppers and some suppliers to access the businesses which operate in shops and wares on display. The vendors are aware of the inconveniences their presence in the walkways pose but are virtually helpless in resolving the situation. To them, the high cost of rent coupled with their unavailability of shops are part of the major factors hampering their ability to relocate. Some shop owners who declined to speak to me on camera however admitted to the cost of rent which ranges between 50 and 100,000 cities for a period of five years. This translates into a monthly rent of about 1,700 cities. This is paid to the landlords who have converted most residential properties into commercial ones or third parties who act on behalf of the landlord. In addition, the businesses are obliged to pay other taxes and levies to the local authorities or the GRA. But this will be the motivating factor for another category of retailers to secure the workways as some have been in the business for more than a decade now. Tom Rollers, 29 years. So no, so no more sip, no more the amount of boarding. The year is coming as a day, Juman Wendu, Cotta, neighbor to me at all, store. Say, I'm on per se, young free and quiet. Now, I'm on per se, young cotton, baby, I'm on sipata, I'm on sipata, I'm on dear sicker, I'm on dear license, any tickets, or no dear bear fine. I said, Mimi, Tama Mini, a Pocanesh market, Sano Muye. It is a almost the ardent, I have better heart, I am to me in toss store, they are to me in top. I said, "Me where na me ya me show me ba me yesterday ni na omo ni ya university." It is a me si me koto store. I said, "Let's make three fee." It is a panu cho ombwa ye. So it's kabi no ba ma ya ombre ye sika ya ya tran han ombre ye sika na mfanyi ya juma. Rent ne at the same. Rent ni dia is too much. It's too much because osha rent no. So see, see na business no kono and ko ye. It is rent ni dia is too much and a taxes no suye too much. Yeah, shop dia ye tia. 300 for a month and a monthly so it's your light bill almost 200 um, 25 ghana cd which is light bill and the osha is too much me bra shop dem nya ka me pe na e say e be come na yen to ade o me na me nya sika ko to shop no what am say 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 yen to ade wow wow say say yen to say to ade a and the shop, the shop, and then you are me, me, three, you are so, no, you are me, say, I'm not in quarter, I'm about say no. So when you shop, and I'm a pay, then you say, and to idea, my year, you are about by and to see my year. It's a bend of when you say, it's got a shop, it's got be a bin your shop, no, what dream, and they will be said, Miss Anne Bonnet, that is saying, saying, shop, it's got the eminence, Miss Imbra, I'll be pipi pipi pee. Yet, you are crying, me, whom is asking me that. In the shop, you need to be a can be paid. Now, you can't be not all. The vendors also say they are made to pay at least three different levies categorized into daily, monthly, and annually. And I make a choice. The the cost no. Now now you are fifteen. I'm not going to twenty. I'm not going to buy twenty five. I'm going to thirty. What I say? Eh, sir, 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 s
Every day, so Every day, we and the ball also, now 50 pence, I'm going to call one seat. And I'm going to say, now, I'm going to say, 50 pence, I'm going to call, 50 pence, I'm going to call one seat. What I say? But here, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going Please tell me your full name and the shop, I mean, what you are into here at the Lokashi Market. My name is Rose Aikens, and we are into shirts, singlets, panties, and boxes. At first, we were in this building, the down one, but it was old, so we decided to renovate it. They decided to renovate it. So as they renovated the building, but now the price they are mentioning, we can't assist the shop again because it's too much. And they are taking dollars, so we can't pay. Why are in Ghana and we are taking dollars for sure? Forgotten actually the price, but it was around, let's take it like uh, 100 million per year. It depends. 100 million old cities. Yes, old cities. It, it depends the way the argument is. Because we pay bill of living and all those things. But now when they renovated it, the amount they are mentioned is in dollars. And we can't pay. So we have to leave it. You understand but at least at first no it was in cities and now they are taking dollars the shop is a old shop so we took it for almost like we've been there for almost like 15 to 20 years but the building is an old building and they decided to renovate it and now the money is higher than the old one a recent survey commissioned by the ghana employers association identified the access to credit and equipment as top constraint facing enterprises operating at the local level the lead researcher for the survey, Professor William Barb Watson, highlights the key findings of the survey. Talking about the usual uh, water uh, and also they also complain about uh, a number of levies, charges, taxes that uh, they are paying uh, the local. But we also engage MMDAs as well to find out what the challenges are. And if you look at their uh, revenue structure. We see that the IGF, which is supposed to be revenue generated from within, account for a very small percentage of the total revenue. So then one will ask if the enterprise are saying we are paying different types of levies and so on, and some of them who own properties are saying we are even paying property tax. Some even indicated that if you look at the value of their property, it seems to them that it's been overvalued. But I mean, they've made complaints. So it means that uh, property taxes, uh, of course, some of them was, uh, haven't paid. They are pay paying all these, but you also go to the MMDs, and they said we are also not getting what we, we, we expect. So what could the various metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies do to ease the business operating environment for such enterprises? If we are able to block or solve or address what I call the missing link between the payer of the tax and the receiver of the tax. Then what is actually paid will be equal to what is actually received by the MMDs. Then the services that will be needed uh, by the enterprises will be provided. So if the MMDs realize that we are collecting taxes but we are not getting what we want, they will be tempted to always increase the rate. Considering the fact that Ghana's economy is led by the informal sector, it is ironical that they are hit with such prevailing issues. The implications if the concerns go unresolved include possible loss of jobs, low standard of living, increase in urban poverty, amongst others.